Okay, guys, thanks for joining Life, Laughter and Lockdown, the ninth episode. Uh, and today's episode is on friendship. I think we've done really well. Um, it's been a challenge being consistent. So I'm also learning something about myself um, on just being committed to something and showing up. Um, yes, yeah, so it is going to be quite an interesting conversation, I think, today. Um, I am here today with my faithful, invisible assistant, Yava, who you cannot see, but I assure you she is here, whom you will be hearing, reading your comments and reading out your questions. Hi, Abla, thank you very much for joining. We are talking about friendships today, whether they are healthy, whether they are unhealthy, and also looking at defining what an unhealthy relationship looks like, because many a time we don't, we don't necessarily know. Sometimes we end up having some pretty bad experiences before it dawns on us that um, we're in a relationship or in a friendship that is not positive. Hi Evelyn, we'll wait for the others um, to jump on and then we'll, we'll kick off really soon. So as always I try and do a little recap on the things that we've covered, definitely we'll forget one because we always do, but we have covered thus far from when we started, hi Isha, thanks for joining, from when we started doing the life, laughter and lockdown we have covered faith, we have covered focus. We've covered beauty, we've covered protection, we have covered... I'm stuck. Um, faith. We have covered... I've only mentioned four, we've done nine. Fear. Hi, Cheryl. We've, yeah, we've fear, done three. Um, faith, focus, beauty, protection, creating space, yeah. life. Yeah. Oh, she's good. Two more. Um, what did we do yesterday? Um, yesterday was... Um, times and seasons. Yes, right. So one more. Yeah, so today's one is <laughs> friendship. Yay! <laughs> we got there in the end. Thanks, Stephen, for joining. So, guys, <clears throat> as usual, you know, I'll be honest, I did have planned and mapped out the 14 different topics that I was going to be speaking about during this 14 day lockdown. But sometimes, again, you know, it's about being flexible. We plan certain things, but they don't go according to how we plan them. But I found that every morning when I wake up, I have my quiet time. Something just drops in my spirit, you know, speak about this today. So today, as I keep repeating, is about friendship. It's about knowing, you know, what is a healthy relationship and what is not. So, friendship. I'm very fortunate, and again, I always use myself as an example. I'm very fortunate that I have got great people in my camp. And there are a lot of reasons why that is possible. When you are somebody that likes your own company, when you're somebody that places a high value on yourself and you know the kind of friend that you are, you tend to be able to attract people that are of the same spirit, for want of a better uh, word. But what do you do when you're not necessarily in that space or you trust people based purely on how long you've known them. And, I, and that's something that has come up quite a lot, where people think, oh, well, I've been friends with this person for years. Let me just tell you now, time does not define the depth or the realness of a friendship. It really doesn't. Some people are very good at hiding who they are, so they may not necessarily... Hi, Charlene, thanks for joining. They may not necessarily show you who they are, if they're very sly and smart, but, if, but there are always little, little clues. So again, I'll give you an example because I'd like to use myself as an example. There was a friend that I had for the best part of nearly 40 years, I'm 48. We were friends from when I was about 13, I've just turned 13 years of age. And I was very, very close to her. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Elle. Thanks for joining. Guys, if you think that this would be helpful to somebody, please do share. And I was very close to her. But there were little things that I didn't pay attention to. And I remember when we were in our 20s, I'd gone to um, visit her. And she said to me, do you know that there are more people who hate you than love you? Now, it was a very interesting thing for a friend to say to me. And I said to her, I don't believe that. I don't believe that I'll walk into a room and the majority of people in that room hate me because the Bible says, and it just came out of my mouth, 
that those who are with you are far more than those who are against you. And then she went quiet and she said, anyway, yeah, it's true. But there were other little things, and you probably know this person, so I'm not going to give too many details. But there were other little things that made me realise that this person is not my friend. But because I had known her for so long, in my young head, I felt the length of time that you know somebody equates to how tight, close, authentic your friendship is. I will give you another example. So I have a friend who is actually watching at the moment. And I met her, and I won't reveal too much because you'll know who it is and she might not want me to let you know who it is. But I met her in a shopping centre. Didn't know that she, she knew me. She said, oh, I recognise you from Facebook. And it wasn't too long after that my husband passed away. And I got a message from her. And all she said to me was, I know you don't want to talk, something to that effect, but I would like to come to your house and come and cook for you. And that's what she did. And she has literally not left my side since. I haven't known her, I don't think it's two years. So the length of time does not qualify what a friendship is. The other thing that I think is also very important that we need to do is understand that your friends have different strengths and different personalities. And for that reason, you cannot treat all your friends the same. Example. I had a friend who was a damn gossip. I always pulled her up on it. She would gossip about everybody. There's things that she told me about other people that I would be like, come on, if that's your friend, you've got no business divulging that to me. The fact that I won't go and gossip about it is irrelevant. You have broken their confidence. So for that reason, I knew that I would never tell this girl a secret about myself. And in all the years that we were friends, I never did. Because I knew that she was a gossip. Likewise, if I have a friend who is stingy, that is not the person that I'm going to go to for a loan. If I'm in a tight spot financially, I'm not going to go to that friend and say, bail me out. Because what's going to happen? They're not going to help me. What's going to follow? Offence. Friendship breaks down. So it's really important that you know your circle. Know the people that you have in your camp. And therefore, you are able to manage your relationship because relationships are about management. They are about management of the relationship and management of the expectation that you have of that person and you as well. Do we have any questions? No, not at the moment. Oh, they're, they're very, very quiet. Yes, they're very quiet. Okay, so how come you guys are so quiet? If you have experienced a betrayal in a friendship, give me a thumbs up because I'm expecting all, all thumbs to be going up. And if you're telling me that you've never had a friend betray you, then you are so blessed. Hi, Evans. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Ifwa, for joining. And thank you, Ifwa, for sharing these videos. Um, Ira uh, Habar, I think your name's pronounced. Thank you very much for joining. You know, um, if... Oh, Evelyn, that must... I can just about read that. You said, my phone is playing up. I can't hear you. Um, maybe try coming out of the video and going back again, because sometimes it does that even on my phone. You know, so <laughs> Yemisi's put her thumb up. Absolutely. So, again, one of the other things that I mentioned just when I was introducing the topic on my personal page was some people will say, let me keep my, what is that saying? Let, keep, your friend, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies, enemies closer. It was a fool that came up with that saying. It was a damn idiot. Because let me tell you something we are spiritual beings. And everybody carries a particular spirit or grace about them. That's why sometimes, and you know, whether you call it a spirit, whether you call it a vibe, whether you call it energy, or whatever you want to call it, there is a spirit, there is an aura about us. There are people that have a bad aura or a bad energy. And when they are in your circle, they act as a repellent for good things that should come into your life. So... There's a, there's a saying in the Bible that unless to agree, they cannot walk, they, uh, unless to agree on a matter, they cannot walk together. That basically means unless you are in sync, unless you are connected, unless you are in harmony and in unison, you can't be together. Not physically, but spiritually. Because if I'm here, let's say I'm here with Yabba. Adwa, thank you for joining. And hi, V. You know, and I'm, 
I'm having bad thoughts towards her. But I keep her close. Maybe she's doing this Facebook Live think, with me and thinking, you know what? I hope nobody vlogs it. I hope that she fumbles on her words and it crashes. Depending on how strong her spirit is and how strong that desire is, it will start to affect what I am doing. It is only a very, very naive person. Uh, hi, Francis. Hi, Henry. Thanks for joining. It's, is that Henry? Does that say Henry? Uh, um, I don't have a Oh, uh, I think it's Henry. Um, so when you, when, you, when you do that, it acts as a repellent. It stops things, that, good things that should be coming your way to shift. That is why, hi Jack, that's why when you have certain people in your camp and they are blessed people and they think well of you, they think good of you, they have good intentions towards you, you find that things just work out for you things just automatically work out for you. So it's really important that we don't have this um, very childish and naive mindset that just because somebody is your friend or they're close to you, that they mean you well, and therefore you should have them around you. Likewise, be careful what you share with your friends for that very reason. Not everybody has good intentions and a good mind towards you. You will go and, and, you know, again, you need to also find friends that you have something in common with. I'll give you an example. People struggle with jealousy all the time and envy. Unfortunately, it's the nasty part of human nature. If you have somebody who has not reached your level, and I'm actually going to show you the flip side of this as well, because it doesn't even always work that, that simply. Let's say that I'm very wealthy. And I pop into Harrods and I go and buy a bag for £5,000. And I have a friend who's struggling and she can't pay her rent. There's bailiffs knocking on her door. And I stroll in and I'm like, oh, girlfriend, look at this bag that I've just gone and bought. Don't you think it's beautiful? It takes somebody who is very, very strong-minded with an extremely pure heart not to be envious and jealous. So... You need to pick people that you have something in common with, that you are not necessarily on the same level, but you have the same spirit. Because I have friends who are very wealthy. I am not very wealthy at the moment, I'm working on it. But because of the heart that I have, I look at them as an inspiration. I look at them as people that I would like to aspire to, not people that I am jealous of or I want to bring down. So the circle of people that you have around you it is crucial for your spiritual, mental, and emotional health. Any questions? Uh, we have quite a few comments. Aisha, Ankara says, true friendship needs equal shares of love, respect, and honesty. Mm -hmm. Therefore, to maintain true friendship, you need the whole package. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I just, feel you. <laughs> just not a part of it. Love is naturally a part of any relationship. In a friendship, Love can mean so many things. Very true. Any, any other comments? Yes, there are, there are quite a few. Okay. And then, um, Ira Kuba says, that's the worst thing anyone one can experience, a friend's betrayal. Oh, yeah. Stephanie Binder says, absolutely, the length of a friendship is not the most important. It's more what they speak into your life. Absolutely. Abla Jifa Goma, she says, you must choose the value you place on each person or relationship. You must not be blackmailed to stay in an abusive relationship. Be ready to move on without a quarrel. You must look out for yourself always. That's really wise. And, you know, I know there's a few more comments, but just picking up on what Abla said, you have to also learn exactly how to walk out of a relationship with dignity and with self-respect. Now, this friend of mine that I said I'd known for nearly 40 years, the level of betrayal that I faced from her, I literally felt like somebody had poured a bucket, and I'll tell you the story um, yeah, about after, you know, offline. I felt like a bucket of cold water had been poured over my head. Such was the shock. They went as far as telling somebody that was working for me, uh, you know, at the time when I was setting up my charity. I mean, do you know what? I can't even go into it, but all I would say is, it was shocking, but it was also an eye-opener 
But at that time, it was like the light went on for me that when I started to look back on our, on our relationship, there were certain clues that um, I missed. Again, because I felt that, you know, she's a very attractive, very wealthy, far wealthier than I've ever been, um, had a lot going for her. I made an assumption that somebody like that surely couldn't be jealous of me. But I realized the fundamental difference between me and this person was everything that I had, I had been blessed with. I hadn't bought, I hadn't coerced anyone. I hadn't convinced anyone to give it to me. And that was a fundamental difference between her blessings and mine. So therefore, for that reason, I missed it. Um, there was a comment that, was re that you read, the first comment, and there was something that I had wanted to say, which I have actually forgotten which is unfortunate because it was something that was quite important. But in terms of the friendships that we have, sorry, that's the dog. Um, in terms of the friendships that we have, they have to be continually assessed. The fact that a person is a friend today does not mean they will be a friend tomorrow. There are people who are happy if you're both struggling, they are great as a friend. The moment your breakthrough comes, they're not happy for you. And you will start to see certain poor behaviors begin to manifest because they aren't happy. They're happy when you're both in the gutter. And I had a friend like that. I've had many experiences in, in life. Maybe that's why I ended up working as a, as a coach. But they're happy if you're both struggling or they're happy if they get their breakthrough before you do, then that's fine. But God forbid you go ahead of them. They're not looking at it like, oh, well, this is great. Thank God, you know, there is a God. Um, you know, if this person's got this blessing, then mine shall surely be on its way. Mm -mm. They're not thinking like that. They're thinking, why you and not me? The other thing I wanted to mention is when people show you who they are, believe them. Don't make excuses for people. Do not make excuses for people. If you have a friend and she can go and sleep with your husband or your boyfriend. Don't come with this BS, oh, well, at the, the end of the day, it's your husband you had a relationship with, I'm just down with my girl. That's stupidity. That's somebody that could kill you if they had a chance. So you need to believe people when they show you who they are. If you're in a business relationship with someone and they are not honest and they don't show integrity, do not make excuses for them. They've shown you who they are, Believe them. Any comments? And how long do I have? Um, we've done about 19 minutes. Oh, wow. Uh, but then we have um, a comment from V. Roberts. She says, Spirit matters and so does intention and motive. Um, if if Waduku says it's important to check your circle, mm. um, my mom, yeah, Missy, she says, absolutely spot on. For me, friendship encompasses spiritual, mental, and emotional give and take. As I've grown older, I've learned to truly analyze my relationships. I must put in my very best while expecting this. V says again, I take notes and know who is who. I have a friend who will only comment on my posts as her personal page, but never from her business page, because she doesn't want people in her business feed to know about my business shows me certain things good friends know that the sun and the moon both shine when it's their time absolutely good friends support their friends in front of the scene some friends don't want to see your glow up sad then you have a last comment so right. from a drug can come she says i was stabbed in the back by my so-called best friend it was so cruel and hurtful i learned to look into my circle and reduce it drastically you know, guys, my time is up. And I know by the number of you watching that this is clearly a really important topic. And I'm just trying to be disciplined and not go over my time. I've, I've gone a lot um, further over than I, I'd intended. Maybe we need to do a part two. Mm -hmm. If you guys want me to do a part two of this tomorrow, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Because there's, there's quite a lot more that I had wanted to share. And I know that you guys have got your, your own experiences. That, that you would like to share as well. And I'm sure we've not read all the comments. So if you want me to do a part two of this, 
give me a thumbs up. If not, I will just continue to, um, I'll speak about what I had planned to tomorrow. Okay, I've got one thumbs up, but you know, like you've got those little icons that run across, they're a lot quicker. So if you want to do that, you, you can. Um, and yes, I think that this is something that obviously very close to people's hearts. And again, the reason why I, I wanted to talk about this is, as I said, we are in a space where we, we've got a lot of time to be able to reflect and we've got a lot of time that we can you know look at ourselves and and make some decisions so that when we come out from this lockdown we are really whole we're really focused we know where we're going we know what we want to achieve we know the people that need to be in our circle and who need to keep you know we need to stay on that journey with we know the people you know that we need to let go but also how to walk away from relationships and i'm going to give you some examples tomorrow on how i was able to do that yes i think it's 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 sad that you've got people that don't want you to shine but that is the reality of life and so i will leave you with this um with this word that greater love has no man than a person that will lay down their life for their brother. And I paraphrase these things and you'll, you'll know the reason why later on. Um, and I think there's one last comment from my sister, Jacqueline Pianin, who I look so much alike today. It's like weird. It's like looking at Jackie's face. Give me my face back. Um, she says, understand that your life is a journey. On that journey, you will have friends who will walk with you, but we are on different paths. If at some point it is evident that you are going in different directions and pathways, understand that there are others who will join you on your life journey. Travel with the right people. It will keep you on course. And that's why she's my sister, because she's just smart. Um, so yeah, got to go. Thank you very much for watching. Guys, can you please share this video? Um, it would be really helpful because... As you share, that word goes out. And sometimes, like they say, if the cat fits, wear it. There are some people that are going to hear this and they will know that they have not been that friend. So tomorrow is going to be part two of friendship and we will carry this conversation on. Thank you very much for watching Life, Laughter and Lockdown. Stay safe, be blessed, and I shall see you tomorrow at three o'clock. God bless you. Share the video, click on the bell icon to subscribe and like the page. Bye, guys. Thank you.